Good morning ladies and gentlemen, I'm Meetsy69 and welcome back to the channel. Today we have, this is a very special video because it's about the TOG. Uh, it's, what a fun tank to play. I mean, the tank overall is kind of long, um, but it's uh, a fun tank and you'd only really drive the tank to it for lulls, for the lulls. Um, you wouldn't just drive the tank to earn credits. You would literally drive the tank for just for a bit of fun if you're in a stream or if you're in a platoon. Um, there's nothing more fun in the game than driving two togs in a platoon. Now, this video, we're pretty much going to talk about... This is a, a professional guiding to togging. A professional guide to togging and how to play the tank and what you should be doing mainly in a platoon. Now, you shouldn't really play this tank on your own um, because it's not fun it's, it's not fun play it as a platoon play two togs in a platoon so this is uh we're going to show you how to play it we're going to look at the stats first of all and the stats on this tank is actually fantastic the hit points is where this tank is because 1635 hit points is more than a lot of or most tier sevens so you've got a lot of hit points and if you're playing it in a platoon that's like what 1300 and nearly 1330 uh, 1300 just over uh, hit points that's a lot of hit points to get through uh, your turret can bounce shots your turret can actually bounce shots at 114 millimeters other than that you're not going to bounce many shots and you can't really um, hide because uh, I wouldn't reverse out if you're hiding behind a building don't reverse out because they'll shoot you like three times before you can actually show your gun so uh, yeah don't do that um, definitely don't do that you can reverse side scrape believe it or not in this tank damage per minute 2111 really good damage per minute aim time really good at four uh, reload time is 4.55 really good uh, penetration is okay at 7.1.71 on your ap apcr 239 so plenty of a uh, plenty of penetration there uh, you don't need a lot of gold if i'm honest and you do 160 alpha per shot. Aim time 3.5, not bad. Dispersion, not the greatest, but not bad at 0.326. It has a nice 10 degrees of gun depression, but what really makes this tank really boring is that speed. It is the slowest tank in the entire game at 14 kilometers per hour. Now, I wish they made this quicker. If they made this quicker, this will be such a really fun tank to drive, even solo. Um, maybe 20 kilometers an hour, I don't know. Even that will be better. So we're going to have a look at a couple of battles, um, and these two battles I played in a stream with my man Hyper Spider, and uh, we're going to show you and teach you how to play the TOG. So we have two battles for you today, and mainly because there's only two ways to play the TOG. This first battle on Rockfield, we're going to show you one way to play the TOG, and as I've said, make sure when you play the TOG, just be in a platoon. Because if you're not in a platoon, for me, I love, absolutely love coming up against TOGs. Because a lot of them are not good players. And for me, I just see it as free damage. As long as you, uh, you're you not face-to-face -face with a TOG, then, and you've got cover, then you should really outdo a TOG. You can circle it. Even though the traverse, the, the turret traverse on this is actually quite good. And because it's so big, it's it's not the easiest tank in the world to circle. Believe it or not, it's uh, kind of hard. So this first way is, what we want to do is, we're going to work together and focus fire. Focus fire in a TOG is an absolute must. And you have to go together. There's no point one TOG going left one tog going right you want to use both of your t uh, you and your teammates so you want to use the hit points i mean there's over 1300 uh hit i mean there's only over 3000 hit points so 3300 hit points not 1300 what am i what am i talking about earlier so there's over 3000 hit points are uh, between you and your teammate use them i mean share hit points Sharing hit points is an absolute must because you can really pump out that damage when you share hit points and focus firing. Me and uh, Hyper here, we're going to focus fire pretty much everything and we are actually doing a really good battle. Now, what we are doing, we are capping, which will bring the enemy to us. And first, 
target on our list is this VK. And the first two bounces, uh, first two shots I did bounce stupidly. Um, but here comes the KV1, and I'm getting shot on purpose. I am getting shot on purpose, and. Uh, Hyper behind me, I was going to call him Scott, that's his real name. Um, he's behind me, and I'm taking the damage, and I'm meaning to. I'm meaning to take the damage. If you try and, I mean, you can hide in a TOG, of course, you can hide and not take damage, but you can almost out DPM anything that comes in front of you. So when you're working as a, a platoon and you hit point share, there's a lot of hit points to get through. So I took the majority of the shots and I'm down to now 289. So here comes the Jagdpanzer 4 behind. So we are going to focus on him because he's one of the, the best DPM TDs in the entire game. Not just tier 6 but in, in, in the entire game. So I do want, really want to focus him and I want to back up. I'm backing up enough so that KV-1 can't get me. And just look at this focus fire. He knows where I'm shooting. Um, Fair play up, we are on stream and we are on voice together. But now I'm going to use Hyper's hit points and we're still going to focus the same target. So I'm now sitting behind Hyper and the enemy, they don't want to expose too much of their self to come and get me. So they're just going to focus the tank that they can get, which is Hyper. So we're sharing hit points. If we wouldn't have shared hit points, I would have died a long time ago. So now it just leaves the Panzer 4G and he gets a shot. I get a shot, he pokes forward, gets a shot, I poke forward, and I am going to take the kill. So that was a perfect, perfect game. We hit point shared, we focus fire, and you're going to actually see it in the damage, but how good we focus fired, because I got 1,735 hit points, 1,735. And then if we look at, uh, look at Hyper, 1,777, so there's like 30... 30 damage, 30 damage difference. And that's because we focused, fired everything that come our way. We didn't just one tank focus as one tank and the other folk, we focused, fired everything. So that is one way to play the TOG and it's really successful way to play the TOG. Um, but is it the most fun way to play the TOG? No, it's not the most fun way to play the TOG. Number two, this is the second way how to play the TOG, and this is just the, the most fun way to play it. So here we're on Canal. We are to tier, there's only three tier sixes. So whatever comes our way, we're not really gonna be too scared of. Now, there is an enemy, enemy platoon that's pretty good. I know them, they are pretty good, but we're not worried about them because we're in TOGs. And so the second way to play the TOG, you kind of saw it in the first way, and it's going to cap. Go to cap because if you go to cap, then when because that's the only thing you can really do because the you're so slow. You're slow, slow, so so slow. So, do you want to risk say on this map to go left with the mediums and then the whole enemy come right because it's going to take you about. I mean, it's just taking us a minute to get to cap. So the best way I've found to play the tog is to go and sit on cap make the enemy come out and when there's two of you on on cap the cap points go up pretty quickly like really quickly so what we're trying to do is bait the enemy into coming towards cap because if they come to fight us we've got two guns on one tank with fantastic dpm and we've got over 3,000 hit points to get through it's not going to be easy to take us out. So when the enemy say on the, like on this map, they have have all gone the other side, and our team is dying. The KV one's about to de uh, die, but already look, we're on 75 cap points. If they want to make a move, if they want to win this game, which they can because we've already got two tanks down now, three tanks down, but now we are on 90 cap points. Our VK, he is he played this perfectly. He is sitting on cap but he's sitting at the front, so the enemy are gonna shoot him, and because he hasn't got many cap points, they're not gonna take many. And before you know it, two minutes into the game, 100 cap points, easy. Four against seven, zero damage taken, zero, zero damage given, but that is the best way to play the TOG. Hyper there, also zero damage, but look at that, four versus seven, 
easy, easy win. I hope that helped you guys. Hope it helps you uh, learn the TOG. I'm Easy69, and I'll catch you soon. Bye-bye.